YouTube Not Family, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all doing good. And if you're new here, hello, my name's Kimberly, and I hope you subscribe. Turn your bell notifications on so you get notified every single time that I upload and give this video a massive thumbs up to be a part of my weight loss journey channel. Now, as you guys can tell from the title of today's video, I'm gonna be giving you 10 foods that you must eat to lose weight forever. Now, this is basically the holy grail of foods that were so crucial to a weight loss journey. Like, if I'm ever giving my friends or family advice on what to eat to lose weight, these foods in your regular daily routine is gonna change the game forever. Now, during my 40 pound weight loss journey, it was a lot of trial and error and changing and, you know, researching on foods 20 seven. Everything that entered my mouth, I felt like I wanted to know a bit about it, do my external research and know what that food actually does. Am I intolerant to it? It was just a whole learning curve of learning about my body and how it reacts to different foods. So I have brought my notes of the ones that I actually made as part of my weight loss journey as the foods that changed things forever. I had them circled and underlined and circled to say these foods incredible. Now don't forget to come over and follow my inspirational fitness page as well as my personal Instagram page as well. Okay, starting off with food number one and that is avocados. Now this one is going to be a bit bittersweet for those who don't like it but if you haven't tried it before I suggest trying it because there's a reason why avocado on toast has been such a huge and massive craze. It's not because it's just in fashion, it's because actually the nutritious value of it being such a fat based food, however the, however, the benefits of it are incredible. Incredible. When you eat a lot of high fat diets or, or these eating regimes that have a lot of high fats, it enables you to also sustain your satiety, which means being fuller for longer. And avocado really, really enables this. It's one of the healthier fats. It's not going to react to your body negatively. It's not going to increase your cravings because of the insulin. It's going to keep your insulin level and you can have a whole avocado if you really please. It's one of those really versatile foods as well. And especially having a food that is high fat for breakfast enables you to have a better satiety for the rest of the day. Now it comes to snacking, craving, picking up food. This is something that I really, really want to look into. People have a lot of high dairy, high sugary cereals, high corn flaky type diets for breakfast, end up being the ones that snack the most. Even if it's a slice of toast or the spread of jam, that can really offset your cravings because that jam has already spiked your insulin like that. So when you're looking at the types of food, avocado is one that you really, really want to be aware of, especially when it comes to the earlier halves of the day. The next Next amazing food is actually having oils. I'm talking about coconut oils. And if you've ever been to European countries such as Spain, France, Italy, they actually use a lot of oils on top of their foods. Foods that you wouldn't have even thought need to have a sprinkle of oil. And the importance of this, what people don't actually realize, having foods that you can incorporate a sprinkle of oil or a teaspoon of oil helps you reduce cravings hugely. If you've just made your bowl of salad or whatever food it is that needs a sprinkle of oil, oil actually helps you balance blood sugar. So they're not just having that for the flavour. It has a huge purpose for that. Less cravings, balanced blood sugar, less spikes of insulin, and you're ensuring that in every meal because they're adding it to every meal. Obviously everything should be taken in moderation, so I don't add this to every single meal, but knowing that I can add it in at least one meal a day or now and again is so amazing, such as different changes such as frying stuff with coconut oil instead of using sunflower oil. All these types of tricks and hacks are so important. Then you go into the deeper research of your saturated oils and your unsaturated oils. So coconut oil tends to be my oil of choice, but you can have all the different types of oils that are amazing to look up into. But anything that reduces my cravings, I am so up for and I'm so happy with. And oil is one of those things that hugely helps a weight loss journey, especially in terms of cravings and getting that weight loss reduction. Now the next food, now this one I find so hilarious and funny because I used to see it all the time being eaten by gym lads, gym girls. And I'm like, what is it about this food? Like when I was in my unhealthy eating stages, I used to always think, can they not find anything else to eat? Why is their food of choice always this? Now my next one is actually chicken breast. Going into my healthy eating journey, this is a food that I ended up falling in love with and realizing the value of, and that is because chicken breast is absolutely amazing. The reduction in fat, the reduction in salts, the reduction in sugars. It's one of those foods that you really, really can go over with if you want a little bit more. It's not really going to upset your stomach too much. And it's one of those that even if you add it into your every single daily routine, even if it was in every single meal, you would still lose weight. Chicken breast is used universally and advised by so many different nutritionalists, dietitians. I have been to so many nutritionists and they've always been like, chicken breast, chicken breast, chicken breast, chicken breast, all the time. 
And honestly, it's how your chicken breast incorporated into your weight loss routine. You know you're already off to a good start. You can have it in a wrap. You can have it with rice. You can have it with so many different things. So the versatility is always there. But it's actually about what it does to your body. It's something that it's not going to give you overly cravings. If you're craving something, it's, it's going to be due to an ingredient that you've had within your day in a different meal. But chicken breast itself, you can have the rest assured that that chicken breast isn't something that can increase your cravings because it doesn't have those spiking insulin factors. Now, in a previous video, I think it was my 40 pound weight loss reveal video, I talked to you guys about the differences between the different two types of vegetables. Now I said that some people can have a massive bowl of vegetables for their dinner and feel so accomplished as on their first day or first week of their weight loss journey and wonder why they're constantly craving, constantly hungry. That's because vegetables are carbohydrates which will spike your insulin, da 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 da. Now when you're looking at the difference of different vegetables, there are two categories of vegetables. One of those categories can fall into starchy and non-starchy vegetables. Your starchy vegetables, the ones that I say hold the pause, end up being the potatoes, the corns, the peas. Those are the ones that are going to really make you hungrier, even even though you're feeling like you're on this healthy journey kick because of the sugar content and because of the carbohydrate content is a lot higher. And I'm talking about the healthy vegetables, the ones that you really need to focus on on your healthy eating journey. I mean, if you don't have these, the other ones are going to really do the opposite effect of what you want because they're going to make you hungrier. So the non-starchy vegetables that you want to be having can consist of broccoli, cauliflower, mushrooms. I could have, guys, I could have a massive bowl of mushrooms this big and still be a-okay. No insulin spiked, no cravings at all. This is the real difference of the foods and knowing your foods and what is really going to change your weight loss game forever. Now when we're looking into and really thinking about that increase of weight loss, well fibre is one of those things that's really really going to give you that. It increases weight loss drastically and really helps you control those cravings. And when looking into foods that really have high fibre, it's just like the fi the avocado that I mentioned at the beginning, this next food, almonds. Almonds is one of those foods that is really really rich in fibre vitamin E. Now vitamin E and fibre are one of those things that you need to have in your in your routine and the healthy eating journey and healthy eating lifestyle because this is a forever lifestyle and the reason why people add this so heavily whether it's into their porridge bowl, into their salads, they sprinkle some nuts is because nuts and almonds especially are actually have studies done against them that say people who've added those into their weight loss diets who have had the this you no know, lifestyle change have all included almonds and nuts and have seen a bigger difference when they have have a few or a handful each day or having it as the alternative snack. So that's one of those foods that is a holy grail and really, really good. When I now bake food a lot of the time, I'll actually use almond flour because I'm getting the almond and I'm swapping out that flour that has that heavy wheat. It's also going to make you gain a lot quicker. So almonds is a number one thing for me. Now this next food I used to be obsessed with all the time when I was younger and then I stopped eating it and that's actually tuna. But actually alongside this I'll add mackerel and sardines as well. Now having tuna, mackerel, sardines, whichever of your choice is absolutely amazing. What I talk about in my previous videos, you have a high percentage of protein in your daily routine as well as your weight loss lifestyle. It makes so much difference. Protein is recorded to increase people's weight loss by between 30 to 60%. When you think about numbers like that, you will then realise how crucial protein is to changing your entire weight loss journey's success rate. When I think about tuna sandwiches, when I think about tuna salads, all these different things you can really add those three foods into and it's going to have such an impact on your weight loss journey. When you're thinking about things to have rather than having beef and these minces and all that type of thing, you are so much better off having tuna, sardines, mackerel, fat percentages, crazy low. A whole tin of tuna can equate to like a hundred calories and although I don't heavily count calories anymore at all. You can have like two tins of tuna, three if you're feeling wild, because again, like I say, the carbohydrates, the fat and the sugar content is so low and it's not going to spike your insulin like other foods will. So again, these are things to factor in and to bear in mind when choosing your foods for a successful weight loss journey. Now guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video and found it really informative. If you have, don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up and turn your bell notifications on so you get notified every single time they upload. Don't forget to also check out my weight loss plans in the description so you can get coached by me to lose weight, but also come over and follow my inspirational fitness page on Instagram as well as my personal Instagram page as well. Give this video a massive thumbs up. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys very very soon. Bye guys!